advice for patients is increasing difficulty in passing motion because of obstruction by a probe. In the right side uh, of the colon, because the colon is wider, the feces is liquid, they don't often present with obstruction. Uh, and the most common signs there actually are patients getting paler because of a little bit of blood loss over a long period of time. Uh, and often patients with right-sided colon cancer present very late because there isn't early signs of obstruction. So uh, when colon cancer gets big and there's obstruction, of course, then they result in bloating of the abdomen, result in cramps because feces cannot go through and the abdomen starts contracting or the intestine starts contracting. And of course, because of that, trying to squeeze through a small, narrow lumen where the cancer is, the feces may become fragmented, become small, uh, become uh, a tendency to have increased frequency of motion with smaller stools. Singapore, in fact, is quite advanced in the field of colorectal cancer. We ourselves have been on the forefront of uh, investigating new treatment, suggesting new therapy, and get, getting patients uh, better treatment with better results. Early cancers, which means cancers limited to the inner lining of the intestine, can sometimes be treated very easily just by colonoscopy and removal of the cancer through the scope without any need for surgery. Now, advanced cancers, which means cancers which have spread outside the colon to, for example, the lungs, the liver, uh, the bone, and so forth. This, this usually need more advanced and supportive therapy, like for example, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. Now, new modes of therapy are just various forms of doing surgery with less uh, uh, injury to the abdomen, for example, what we call minimally invasive surgery. Over the last decade or so, uh, we have improved from giving patients a very long big cut to making small tiny holes where we put rigid instruments in called laparoscopic surgery uh, to now we're talking about robotic surgery, which we're doing a lot of as well. And also the latest which we have been doing a lot of uh, is what we call transanal uh, surgery for, for the rectal cancers. So these new methods are very useful because in the early stages after surgery, patients don't have too much pain, recovery is faster, uh, and they can go back to work or normal living at a much faster rate. So all in all, there's a lot of advances to advances in surgery, to advances in treatment. So patients nowadays uh, don't have to suffer as much as before. And even if they need surgery, surgery is minimally invasive with lesser, uh, smaller incision and faster recovery and also the promise of uh, higher chance of cure and complete remission from surgery.